people movers. No, 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 don't switch off. The new Mercedes B-Class deserves some attention. When you think Mercedes-Benz, few people think of the B-Class, a boxy-shaped vehicle that's not really a hatch and it's not an SUV. The B-Class is a car that can easily get lost in the regular car vernacular. The important kind of new car chatter you have at the pub, for example. So how does the Mercedes-Benz B-Class get noticed, let alone compete? Easy, make it look and feel like every other Mercedes-Benz a bit classy and packed full of technology as standard. The B-Class has the wow factor we've come to expect from new generation Mercedes-Benz vehicles. And much of that is thanks to these dual screens and all the tech and customization that come with them. You'll find smartphone mirroring, digital radio, heaps of car information and the Mercedes Me voice command system. Hey Mercedes. How can I help you? I'm hungry, I need a cafe. The front of cabin is comfortable, spacious, offers good storage solutions and is very well equipped. Although we've got a few options ticked, like the sliding sunroof and the 360 degree cameras. And the heated electric adjust seats with memory function and lumbar support are an option too. You'll love or loathe the round aviation inspired air vents that dominate the dash as well as the piano black surfaces, which pick up a lot of dust. The B180 is the sole B-Class to come to Australia. It's front wheel drive only, and it's paired to a seven speed automatic gearbox. The B180 rolls along pretty nicely. You know, remember it doesn't have much power under this bonnet. The other thing, this slightly elevated driving position gives you really good outward visibility without reaching those SUV heights. My only criticism of the B-Class driving would be a little bit of wheel spin. From standstill, those front wheels just struggle a little bit when you plant your foot. It's the second row where the B-Class's size really comes into play. Like the front of cabin, it's comfortable and spacious. There's plenty of leg and headroom. You've got two charge points, but you miss out on directional air vents. The electric tailgate reveals a boot that's a decent size and the 40-20-40 split fold seats up the flexibility. Yes, the B-Class is suffering from an identity crisis that may see it inadvertently overlooked. But in all other respects, it's Mercedes as you've come to know it. If you're after something a little different, not an SUV, but you want a bit of space, have a look at the B-Class.